What's up guys? In this video we're going to be talking about five potential fights to make in the UFC bantamweight division. Uh, first of all, Marlon Vera versus the Peter Yan and Sean O'Malley winner. I think this makes perfect sense uh, for a number one contender uh, spot. Uh, Marlon Vera on a nice win streak over some good fighters in the bantamweight division. Uh, Peter Yan uh, coming off that loss to Aljamain Sterling. And uh, he would need probably two wins to get back into a title fight. And for Sean O'Malley, if he's able to get it done against a Peter Yan, that sets it up perfectly for the rematch between him and Chido, Chido Vera. Uh, you know, that would be major box office. People are going to want to tune in and see that fight. And it makes sense logically for the number one contender in the bantamweight division. Uh, another fight that should be made, in my opinion, is Marab versus the winner of Sanhagen Hagen and Song Yadong. Uh, Marab currently at number three in the bantamweight division. And uh, San Hagen currently at five and Yadong at ten. So I think the winner of that fight is going to stay at the five. And that three versus five uh, makes sense for the winner to then stay right up there in contention. Maybe one uh, fight away from a potential title shot at that point in time. Uh, another fight that I like is Rob Font versus Ricky Simone. Uh, Rob Font currently number seven in the, in the division and Simone number 11. Uh, Simone coming off a very impressive knockout win over Jack Shore, who was extremely high to, highly touted in everyone's eyes. And um, Rob Font coming off a uh, loss to Cheeto Vera, but before that had impressive wins over Jose Aldo and Cody Garbrandt. So I think that fight makes sense. Uh, Font coming off a loss, he should be fighting an up-and-coming lower-ranked guy to hold on to that ranking. And for Ricky Simone, it's an opportunity to fight a guy that would really put him in the upper echelon of the UFC bantamweight division. So I think that's a fight that makes sense from both sides there. Another fight I like would be Pedro Munoz taking on Umar Nurmagomedov. Uh, Munoz is on a skin skid lately. He had that uh, no contest against Sean O'Malley. But before that, he had been on a losing streak. And uh, I think he needs to defend that top 10 position against the up-and-coming guy who is, you know, just now breaking into the rankings and Umar. Uh, Umar is on a nice win streak. However, he has not fought a ranked contender so far in the UFC. I really think this gives him an opportunity to test himself against a top 10 guy and start to climb the ladder in the division. So uh, from that aspect, I think that Munoz versus Umar makes sense there for a potential matchup. And uh, another fight that I like would be uh, Jack Shore taking on Adrian Yanez. Uh, Jack Shore currently checking in at 15. Yanez currently unranked, probably should be ranked, looked absolutely outstanding so far in his UFC career. I think this would be a really fun matchup for the fans. Uh, two guys that have really crisp striking, very technical, uh, you know, fighting. I think this could be potentially even be a co-main event of a fight night. I really think it's an exciting fight. And it's a fight that should be made unless they're looking to build these guys up separately and have them fight later on. But I do like that matchup. Uh, what, what do you guys think are some matchups you guys would make? And if you were uh, Dana or Hunter, what would you be looking to do as far as matchups in the bantamweight division? Uh, let me know in the comments. And I'll look forward to hearing from you guys and talking to you guys on the next video.